Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and our little cottage here on the river in North Idaho. In this video, you are going to see me cooking two different recipes. One is for my honey wheat dinner rolls and the other is chicken noodle soup. And both recipes are available on my blog and I will have them linked below in the description box if you wanna go check them out. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about slow living. And I think a lot of us have probably heard that term, especially on social media. It's probably one of those like trending hashtags. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about that and how I am working on cultivating just going slower in my life in a good way because I know our culture tends to tends to put an emphasis on going and rushing and getting it done and the grind and so I am just really working on slowing down a little bit and as a 40 year old woman with ADHD my brain really struggles to slow down and so I am just looking for ways and finding ways that really help calm my mind and slow me down a little bit. So here I'm making the honey wheat dinner rolls and this recipe makes a delightfully soft and fluffy dinner roll along with a subtle sweetness from the honey and I help lead a women's Bible study at my church every Monday evening and we serve soup and bread and so this week was my week to bring some soup and bread and so I decided to make these honey wheat dinner rolls and chicken noodle soup. As a 40 year old woman with ADHD, I struggle with a racing mind and I tend to see all of the things that need to get done regardless of priority, but they're all kind of there and present in my mind and my mind will race and I'll feel like I have to get it all done all in one day and it's just a struggle. And if you, if you have ADHD, you know what I'm talking about. And so for me, I am working on finding ways to help prioritize and slow my brain down. So for me, slow living is about prioritizing and finding beauty in the so-called small things. So whether it's enjoying the process of making a cup of coffee or tea, going on a leisurely walk down at the river, hanging freshly clean sheets on the clothesline, feeding, reading to, cuddling and playing with my baby Lucy, giving my 15 year old a hug and just letting him share his thoughts, the lingering hug and kiss before my husband heads out the door, and the list could go on and on and on.
And another way that I embrace slow living is in my baking and my cooking. And there's just something about making a meal completely from scratch that really does cause you to slow down. And of course, making homemade bread is a slow process. Whether you're doing sourdough or you're doing a yeasted bread, there's still a process and it takes time. And it's one of those things where I find that when I am baking, my brain slows down. And so I think this is just one of the reasons why I absolutely love baking and I love baking bread. I think slow living isn't something where you can create a formula and it's going to work for everyone. I think everyone who's wanting to cultivate slowing down in their life and slow living has to look at their own personality and how their brain works and the things that are important to them and from there kind of figure out what slow living looks like for them because slow living for me isn't going to necessarily work for someone else and I know when I think about you know 20 years ago in my life slow living would have looked a whole lot different and so it really is an individual thing and something that you just have to figure out and work on for yourself. And so I would just say that the first thing for me has just been working on figuring out what are the most important things and focusing on those. And so for me right now, obviously my family is the most important thing. And so focusing on that and focusing on my home, um, when I find myself kind of getting distracted by all of the outside things that I feel like I have to get done, like nothing really gets my full attention and I'm very scatterbrained and I get really overwhelmed. And so I have just made a point of, you know what, I am going to focus completely on my family and my home and the people that God has brought into my life who, you know, I can show love to and um, just be a friend to. And so those are my priorities. And I have found that my life kind of naturally slows down when I'm focusing on those things. And so if I were to give one piece of advice to somebody who is wanting to cultivate slowing down in their life, I would say prioritize. Figure out what are the most important things to you in your life and prioritize those things. And I think that you will find that everything will kind of naturally slow down a little bit. And maybe not even necessarily in terms of the things you have to get done. But for me, when I have found, when I have prioritized, my brain doesn't have to work as hard because I'm not trying to juggle so many different things at once. And so 
Yeah, I and I know it's going to look different for different people. Like some of us are in completely different seasons of life. And some of us work outside the home, some of us are stay at home, some of us have a ton of kids, some of us don't have any, some of us have ailing parents maybe that we're caring for, whatever the case may be, it's going to look different. And so for you, I you have to just figure that out for yourself and just prioritize. So that would be my one piece of advice, prioritize. And so friends, I really hope that you found this video encouraging. I know that we could have a huge discussion on slow living and what that looks like. But in this short little video, I would just say prioritize. Start there and see where it takes you. And so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go over to my website, homespunannie.com, to check out the recipes from this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like and share with someone else you think would enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.